What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing a video on the best fortress assaults. I did get a request about it yesterday. Or actually, I guess it was technically earlier today. But today, like I said, we're going to be doing best fortress assaults, um, how to set them up. So this was a request from somebody who saw the video on best fortress defenses, which I put out like last week if not like three days ago I don't know now that we're on break and not going to school I literally lost concept of time and I have no idea how many days have passed so let's go ahead and move on to a different region because right now we're using this region for a war from Mordor um, let's go ahead and go to a region that we're not gonna go to anytime soon so I didn't post the poll asking you guys which region of these two you wanted to go to first so we're just going to go to Lithlad. We're going to do this one. All right, here we are. So let's see who the Overlord and War Chiefs are for this region real quick. Olog. Yep, got it. Got it. Yep, got it. Got it. All right. We don't have anybody in this region. So, and I can't put anybody in because the Wi-Fi is down. Right, okay. I forgot about that. Um, for some reason, the Wi-Fi went out in this area. All right, so we're just going to have to go back to a region where we have people and lose it. All right, so let's go. I don't want to do Gorgoroth because we're currently working in that region. Let's go to Kirithungal. All right, that was a little inconvenience, but it'll work either way. It doesn't matter which region we're doing it in. Let's see how many people we got in here. We have a lot. Hopefully no one dies. I don't think anybody's going to die, but in order to make this video, we kind of need a region where there is an enemy overlord. So let's go ahead and set that up real quick. All right, here we go. So first of all, what we're doing here is we have a region controlled by us. And in order to change that, we need to lose this fortress. And the way that I usually do that is I just back out of a fortress defense and then you lose. Thank you. That fortress belongs to us orcs, and we're coming to take it back. Under normal circumstances, you would definitely fail. But since I am literally here to give it to you, have at it. There we go. And it is now a slaughter fortress. So they took my overlord. I'm going to go get him back, by the way. And they put the amputator up. Congratulations. I hope you guys feel good. Our overlord is over here. Why are there two rescue missions? They took two of my guys? That's not even fair. So literally, I have to choose. I'm obviously going for my overlord. Who is this? Yeah, I don't care if he dies. I'm not letting him die. Can you back up? I literally just spawned here. Asshole. Alright, let's go get our guy. Old Rock the Prowler has been captured by Poog. The Jenna doesn't even matter, he's gonna die. We're gonna save our guy and kill this dude. Hopefully our other guy escapes. This is correct. You know what the saddest part of an execution is? The fact that the victim never knows what we do to the corpse. Interesting point of view. Why don't you... Oh, I can't freeze him. Motherfucker. Alright, stop throwing shit at me. Everybody around me dead except for him. Please don't shoot me. Alright, now we just need to wait for him to die. Come over here. Oh, he's not coming over here. Alright. Can't do that. I want to give him a chance to kill him. He won't do it, though. 
I'm definitely not gonna die. There we go. All right, so now that he's good, we just need to go get the other guy. We can start up. Oh, he's alive. All right, so he got away from the other guy. Who was the person who captured him, though? Was it him? No, it was this guy. Pretty sure, I think. I don't know. We have an overwhelming amount of captains in this region. We have a majority. So basically, almost none of these war chiefs have bodyguards. Only two of them. All right. So, now we can go ahead and get to what this video is about. Let's go ahead and head to the fortress. Alright, so just like I did for the fortress defense, I'm going to go through all of these fairly quickly. Um, just giving you a little brief summary of what they're all about. This shouldn't take more than, I don't know, four or five minutes. But first, before I do that, I'm going to choose the captains I want to be up at the top. Let's go with... Who do we want up front? Let's use the devoted and of the hand and now let's start being strategic with who we bring so for fortress of yeah i almost said a false fortress assaults you're going to want to bring captains that are good at killing other captains all right so this is the same thing for defenses um i put up front a trickster and a tank now, I put those two guys up for nothing other than the fact that they are both riding Karagors, and I like their names. That's it. But, when you go into a fortress assault, you're going to want to be strategic with the orcs, with the orcs you decide to bring. So, you're going to want to look at their classes. So, look right here. This guy, Schoon Flamemonger. He is a slayer. You're going to want to have slayers. At least one or two. At the very least one. You should probably bring two, though. If you don't have two, um, guys with axes, these guys are good. What are they called? Savages. Savages are good. Defenders are good. I wouldn't bring more than two archers. You probably should only have one. Like a marksman. That's alright. An assassin's alright. Here we go. We got another slayer right here. Who else? You're going to want to have a beast master. Preferably with the trait where he can summon a Graug. So let's see, can he do that? He does, Graug call. We're bringing him. He's terrified of more, terrified of more guy flies. So we're not going to be shooting nests down because he'll run away. But say you get stuck somewhere and you can't get through a wall. Or you can't break through the gate and your guys are just outside and they can't get in. If he summons a Graug, either the Graug will break the wall or you can get on top of it and break the wall or break the gate open or whatever like that. So it's just helpful to have just in case you get stuck like that. And I want to bring him just because he's the overlord or he will be the overlord of the fort when I take it back. All right, here we go. We're going to run through this quick. So we've got Sappers, Mounted Cavalry, and Olog High. Sappers, they break open the, the gate. Sappers are good for breaking open wooden gates. So here is the slot where you would be able to choose a wooden or a metal gate, a poison sprout or spout or a fire spout. He chose or the game chose poison spout. So that's how I know that this fortress currently has wooden wall or wooden gate. I cannot talk. Sappers. They have a wooden gate because they're using poison spouts. Sappers will break open the wooden gate very easily. Next up, oh, let me go through these actually. Mounted cavalry, they'll jump over the walls. Um, this actually is helpful because they do not have spiked walls, which will be in this part right here. They have far side archers, which are actually extremely toxic, but you'll see what that hap or what far side archers do in the siege. Um, but they're not using spike walls, so that would be all right. But I tend to go with sappers, which is a good idea. Olag High break the walls of the fortress, but they're using poison spouts, so that's not a good idea. Here we go. Savage Host, Defender Host, Hunter Host. Savage Host basically just go in and kill people. I don't know, they're like the basic. You've got Defender Host, which take points faster, and you've got Hunter Host, which kill beasts. They have a War Graug, so Hunter Host would be good if they had War Graug and, Cal or, and Karagors inside the fortress. They only have a War Graug, though, and seeing as how I can dominate that in two seconds... I don't really feel the need to have Hunter Hose with me. Plus, Defender Hose just make the Siege go faster. Fiery Siege Beast, Poisonous Siege Beast, Curse Siege Beast. 
Fire Siege Beast attack walls and gates. The Poisonous Siege Beast attacks the beasts inside. And Cursed Siege Beasts attack the War Chiefs inside. I almost always go with fire. But in this case, I'm going to go with poison because they're using poison. Or not poison. What are they using? Yeah, they're using a poison siege beast. So I'm going to copy what they're using. If they were using fire, I would use fire. If they're using curse, I would use poison. So if they're using poison or curse, use poison. If they're using fire, use fire. Fight fire with fire. She loves brood. You just have spiders walk around the fortress and, you know, piss people off. You've got a war grog, which I will always use because I can dominate it immediately and bust into the fortress in two seconds. And a wild drake. Never use this. Never use this. This is the stupidest thing ever. I don't know why this is in the game. I, I'm not trying to hate on the game or anything like that. It's just, I don't understand this. It would be helpful if the drake was on your side, but if you read it, a drake swoops in to rain fiery chaos onto the fortress. Be warned, the drake's fire does not discriminate. It will attack everybody. Not only that, but drakes tend to die within a minute of going over a fortress. It's not that helpful at all. It's like a waste of a slot. Fire archers, far side archers, or mounted archers. This one, it doesn't matter what you choose at all. Honestly, I just play any mini mini mo with this because it, it really has very little effect. So I'm just going to choose far side archers because I feel like it gets rid of the archers at the top. I think. I don't know. And then inspiring banners and overpower. Always. Whenever you do a siege, always use overpower. It doesn't matter what siege it is. It doesn't matter where it is or the overlord. Always use overpower. Inspiring banners just enrages your troops. It's not even that helpful. Here we go. Now, you guys will see how well these choices affect your siege. They have right there a war grog. Look how fast that just got tainted. I took that in two seconds. And those grogs are almost dead because we have poisonous grogs. That gate just got opened immediately because of the sappers. And both their grogs just died. Look at that. See? Proper siege tactics lead to a swift victory. Now all you gotta worry about is the guys inside. I haven't done a siege in a minute. I forgot these were fun. Where you going, buddy? Come on. You know nobody's allowed to survive these. I have a reputation to uphold. If I let somebody escape, everybody's gonna want to leave. That's disrespectful. You talking to me like that because you're a war chief and you think I can't cut your bitch ass in half? Goodbye. Oh, I didn't kill him. Wow. There we go. Moving on. See, look, these points are almost 
Every time I get here, these points are already ready. Because we have... Uh, what are called? Defender hosts. Is it funny? Arrow proof. These guys just basically switch off weaknesses every single time I fight somebody. Hey, hey, guess what? Is it still funny? Moving on. See, I don't even have to step. Who just left? Barrel Scraper. Why did he leave? I didn't even see him. Terrified of Drake's. Oh my god, what a bitch. I didn't even know he was here. Wait, this is the third point. What point did we not have to take? Is there a point down there? There was the one at the front gate. Then the one right here. Then the one right here. Where's the fourth point? This is the one we're at right now. Where the hell is this one? That's gonna bother me forever. Alright, well. Let's not worry about it. Is he a slayer? He is. Let's not let him hit me. Alright. That's three points taken. Now, this is the part where I said it would be helpful to have a Beastmaster because... Say you can't get into this inner keep because... I don't know. Your guys are like... Stupid. And they can't get the wall open or they can't get the gate open. That's when it's helpful to have a Grog. Or let's say you're stupid and you killed the grogs at the top instead of branding them. Then, I don't know, I guess that's your fault. But usually you're going to want to always, I said usually and always, you're going to want to always take both of these grogs. What I tend to do is I take one and I'm going to come out here and open the gate up. Look at them. They're hitting the wall. That takes forever to open it. Alright, if you'd like to hit the gate this time. Please. There you go. You hit the gate, it opens up. Hey, 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 that's my kill. Stop it. I'm the only one that's allowed to kill war chiefs here, guys. Stop it. Alright. Last one's over there. You guys haven't seen the toxicity of Farsight Archers yet, so you're lucky for that, I guess. Or, I'm lucky for that. I could have sworn there were two guys over here. Oh, yep, yes there are. Here we go. And I just killed my spiders. You're not gonna hit me. Get that idea out of your head. Hey, where the hell are you going? You're not, you know you're not allowed to live. Come on. You should have known this the, the second you got promoted to War Chief that I was gonna come for your ass. Ow. And I attacked the wrong person. Alright, let's just do this. He's dead. No, because if you hit me, I would kill you. Hey, buddy. Where you going? Where you going? Okay, he's just immune to everything. Please don't tell me he's gonna run away. Kid, can't be serious. He's a tank. And nobody's gonna help me fight him. 
He's immune to the three things that I use. Execution, stealth, and it wouldn't let me shoot him either. Oh, I can shoot him. That makes this fight all a lot easier. Going along with the fact that he refuses to block. Oh, that's because he's trying to run. Yep, yeah, nope, get back here. Well, all in all, I feel like that siege went pretty well. Nobody died. Nobody went down. I didn't go down. My wrath bars all the way up. My might is all the way up. Let's go take this overlord. I give him approximately, approximately two minutes or less to live. Let's see how this goes. This throne room is fire. I'm glad you made it this far. I get to see the suffering in your eyes up close. Is he a tank? I wasn't paying attention. He's a slayer. Okay. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good night. I wish I could be here when my boys slaughter you and take back our fort. That will never happen. That went pretty well, if I do say so myself. That's pretty much all there is to it. I mean, you just go off of what I said, and you should be able to counteract any defenses that the uh, game decides to put up against you. All right, well, thank you guys for watching. That's about it. See you on my next one.